All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with the next episode, episode three of the Mass Effect series with the engineer character. Let's get down to it here. You know, I wish this was a screensaver right here in the loading screen for the first Mass Effect. That'd be cool, having that for a screensaver. Okay, we just got done becoming a Spectre. So now we're just going to head around and get some quests, I believe. Yep, we're going to talk to Kahoku and... Gareth here. I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. Right on. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ships. Maybe you can get some answers. Right on. So here we go, talking to Gareth. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Yeah, I got some weed for you if you want to smoke some of that. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Sometimes. My Sometimes. Of a ship <laughs> it was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. It just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. Right? I won't give up on my brother. <laughs> yeah. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. Hell yeah. Your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. I ain't no cheap whore, though. You gotta pay me for this. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. And then I finally remembered, oh yeah, you get a free level for um, becoming a Spectre. Uh, first I thought, oh, electronics, but then it's like, fuck it, give me Spectre. Give me Spectre, you know? What do I do with her? Do I do combat armor or do I do shotguns? I think I was deliberating, but I did shotguns. Then I forget Tally, but here we go, we get her. How am I gonna do Tally? Looks like decryption to get it advanced. Even though I don't use her. It is cool in this version, you can see her eyes and nose. That's pretty cool. You know she's got to be some hot stuff in that suit, man. Hell yeah. 
In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Okay, so that is a quest. You only get that quest by riding in the elevators. That's why I rode in this elevator. So I could get that quest. Okay. So is this where I'm looking for Helena Blake? I'm thinking so. I'm thinking I discover that Helena Blake is here, and I was looking for uh, Robert and Rebecca, but they don't show up till later. Yep, there's Helena Blake. See, I never knew that. I thought you had to go out and get Liara first and then come back, but no. Got a moment, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do, but this would be easy work for you and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Okay. Then do I check the shop here? I think I do. Yep, I do. I don't know why I didn't cut this out, but whatever. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so what do I look for? I think I'm looking for armor upgrades, but... You know, I see I ain't got a lot of money, so... I don't know why I'm here, but whatever. Well, do I buy the Phoenix? I think I do. There's the Serta license. That was one reason why I came here. Yep, I buy the Cert I buy the Phoenix. I don't know why, but my controller here, the triggers are very sensitive. So you barely touch it; it'll um, get your guns out. And I, I, I love this controller. It's just you know, I wish the triggers weren't so damn sensitive. But whatever, whatever. <laughs> Shepherd looks like a <laughs> Shepherd looks like a gamo. <laughs> I don't know why, but they even have the fucking cups for the female officers. Wow. Look at that. Shepard has cups. Yeah, again, I don't know why I didn't cut this out. I should have cut this out. Later, I find just how much of a waste of time this is, and I just sell everything manually. I mean, it, it's a good thing to have this, I guess, but um, you still have to go into the um, upgrades and look around to see what all you got and all that kind of shit, so. And I should have cut out this run in two. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. Okay. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. Oh, this is why I didn't cut it. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. 
The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? Hey, you know, speak, we're speaking the truth here. ...for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. That is true. That totally is. ...one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. And see, we got a level for that, too. <laughs> nice. So, what do I do first? It looks like electronics. Okay. And then I do shotguns, I believe. Yep. Just to get carnage. And then for tally, I advance to corruption, maybe? Yep, I do. Advanced sabotage. Yep. And that's it. And now, I'm heading... C-Sec, I believe. Nope, I'm going to Flux. To do that little mini quest, I think. Excessive force! <laughs> yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. You were cheating, though, weren't you? I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's yeah. illegal to use my system. It is. I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. It's not what I do. I don't know why I record this, too, but I do. More rumors about strange metal creatures with real AI, no doubt. Yes, but there's more. Yeah, there always is. I heard they had some connection with a rogue specter. Not this again. Why is that so hard to believe? What does it say? Just don't expect us to believe it, too. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Well, maybe if you shook it, it you'd get better tips. <laughs>
Now, I actually tried the high stakes quasar on this. Now, what am I going to get? Oh, I got too greedy. <laughs> Now am I gonna get it this time? Damn, I am not getting the numbers. There we go, we got it that time. <laughs> now. Oh, I got greedy again. Greedy again. Uh oh. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. That's only a second win, Doran. Come on. Oh, we got it again. Nice. Your luck seems unnatural, human. No, oh, we're fine, Doran. It's it's just I'm luck. I'm lucky. And then I accept the freebie. That's what I did there. I accepted the freebie. Damn, I'm only getting ones from 1 to 8, man. There we go. We got enough on the device. But I went ahead and just took the loss. I was like, fuck it. You know? Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Damn right. Thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. <laughs> to the Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. <laughs> and I ended up getting money from Doran, so really I didn't lose nothing. <laughs> so, did you record five wins with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? You could put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh, we needed to talk to Emily Wong, too. Okay. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Right on. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Alright, now we're going to see Dr. Michelle. Mm. 
I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. You could always give me some nookie. Happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? Let me take a look. Some nookie. <laughs> of course. I don't know why I kept this running in, running around in, but I did. I should have just cut to where I was going. That's what I should have done. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Oh yeah, I come to the requisition office, officer. Yeah. Looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel. That about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. All right. So he's got nothing we can afford right now, but we are looking for some upgrades and licenses. There we go. The grenade upgrade, and then I'm selling everything it looks like to... Nope, nope, I don't sell anything. I wait until I get Paragon up more. Paragon and Renegade up more, so I can um, make more money. And get everything at a discount. Is it common for human women to be front rank fighters, Chief Williams? I know that Salarian women do not serve in the military. It's becoming more common, but it took a long time to prove that ladies could handle an assault rifle or a shotgun. On the flotilla, we don't have the luxury of sexism. We need the best hands for every available job. And that's the way it should be. But I don't think I could get used to the uniform. That is the exact way it should be, Tally. There should be no sexism and all that. But I see why there should be in the military, because... Captain you know, we don't need women in the front lines. Of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Hey, asshole, I'm here to protect Galactic Peace. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. 
All right. Yes, Commander. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human specter, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a specter involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Damn, they blamed him! How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. Blame it on the black guy! The guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Excuse me! He likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, we want to check the weapons. Just for free experience. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Psst. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop it. Hoorah! Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain's not here. I'm in charge now, Joker, and time's wasting. Get this bird in the air. Yes, sir. So, now I believe I go downstairs, don't I? Yep, I do. I go downstairs, talk to everybody.
Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying... Why the fuck should I pay you? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Not right now, thanks. No problem. Keep checking back. Alright, now we check the Mako. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. Right? But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Just do a good job and don't get in my way. We'll get along fine. Don't worry, Commander. I'll keep clear. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Don't be an ass. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. They tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. It seems similar enough to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? <laughs> an infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. So long, Rex. Shepard. All right. So we want to come in here, talk to Adams. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian tally? She's been spending all her time down here. Excuse me! It's late tonight. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen it. Ah, there we go. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. <sighs> I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. 
It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. And moonshine. But some things <laughs> we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Um, I, I just have a question. Um, is this a goddamn... <laughs> goddamn, you know? I should go. See you later. Oh god, that was funny. <laughs> then, and then I remember, oh shit, I need to talk to Joker. Even though everybody should know his dialogue by now, but oh well. Commander, something you need? I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in there my we go. I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What disease? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Froelich syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow. Too much force and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Then, okay, yeah. I need to know more about this Vrolik Syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Mm. <laughs> Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy, even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I have to go. All right, see ya. So, okay, the Vrolik syndrome Joker talks about, it's only in his lower part of his body. 
So I call bullshit in the beginning of Mass Effect 2. Where Shepard grabs um, Joker's arm and he's like, Oh, watch the arm! That's bullshit. His Rolex syndrome is not in his arms. So I call bullshit on that and... So we're going to find Liara. Gnosis? Shit, are we in the Xenosaga universe? Need to go see Wilhelm? <laughs> Need to build an android that does the Hilbert effect? I should have cut this out too, and I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. I think I was just being lazy. Um, but that's the thing though, when you're scanning planets, always scan around your asteroid belts because you never know when you might find an asteroid you can um, scan. See, there's another asteroid right there. See, they call it an asteroid when it's out in space, but they call it a hemorrhoid when it's on your ass. <laughs> so what am I going to get? Charm? No? Decryption? Nope, I take charm. Alright. Because I want to get um, store discount. That's what I want to get. More store discount. Now, later in this series, I cut out driving in the Mako on the main planets. Like Doveria, Pharos, and... Um, And, um, Burmeyer. And I'll probably cut it out in Ilos, too. Because, really, what am I doing? I'm just driving. That's all I'm doing. Once in a while, kill a few Geth, and that's it. You know? Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay, that's what I was looking for, the booster. Yep. Get some of the mushrooms from Mario Kart and I can go faster. Yeah. Running this at 30 FPS really doesn't look bad. It really doesn't. That's what this is set at, is 30. Because I set it at 30, so I wouldn't have to worry about um, the game crashing or the graphics card gra crashing. You know? There's the dropship. Got your ass. Then I remembered, oh yeah, I gotta do the party. I gotta do the party. And I do combat armor. Even though, really, I don't see why you would need first aid. Uh, 
Okay, so we do assault rifles to open up shotguns. We do that to upgrade to heavy armor for Rex and shotguns to get carnage. All right. What do I put on? There we go. Oh, we will, Rex. We just want to kill the turrets first, just so I can get the experience. I don't know why I'm having trouble aiming for the turret, but I am for some reason. Here we go. Charm and decryption. And I I didn't know what to do with Ashley on this one. I did get heavy armor, and then I started fitness with her. And then, yep, warp. Okay. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I blew him to kingdom come. See, and I'm being efficient with my shots. <laughs> That's how you do that. <laughs> All right. Now, you don't have to go all the way back here. I do just to get the items, but I should have just cut that out and just um, did where I opened the gate and moved on. Because really, you, you, all the items you get here are random, you know? What are you doing? What are you doing? There's nothing here. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Don't waste your time uh, trashing stuff because um, you can sell them much quicker manually. So... High explosive two for um, grenade. There we go. Bam! We took him out. I don't know why I've mapped, um... 
I mapped that one for pistols, Marksman. But for some reason I did. And I don't know why I open that gate every time, but I do. And I, like I said, I should have cut out this running. I really should have. I need to quit being lazy and just and cut that out, you know. In future um, characters, I will do that. We'll take the headshot. Now, is this where I forget to open? Yes, this is where I forget to open the goddamn gate. Idiot. There's nothing here. So not only did I waste my time, but I was stupid and didn't open the damn gate. Then I'm like, why the hell ain't the gate open? It's like, oh, it must be in this one. So, again, I should have cut this out. Nice! Another level. I think I want to master um, sabotage. What I want to do. Um, do I go? Yeah, I go fitness for Ashley. There you go, advance warp. And again, I should have probably cut this out. Because really, what are you seeing? Just me driving and shooting a few geth. You know what I mean? There's nothing really special that goes on here. There's no dialogue, there's no nothing. Do I get in through the... Yeah, I did. I got him through the holes right there. That was pretty cool.
There we go. We killed them sons of bitches. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Master and sabotage. Unlock immunity. And do I go for... Yep, I go for assault rifles. To unlock throw. Stasis, I don't see a use for it. I mean, yes, it puts somebody in a... Stay in stasis. But really, what's the point? Because... You can shoot them and it'll do no damage to them. You say that, but as soon as we get up here, there's going to be more. There, we got him headshot. Now, we're going to get him from here. Like that. There's another one. Do I just say hell with it? And no, I don't. Boom. <laughs> Got him headshot. Here we go. Little mini boss battle here. There's that one. Right now I say the hell with Rex because he's just in my way. And really I can't get him up anyway because I don't know Unity. I hate these Geth Stalkers. I hate them so fucking much. Because they're just like the hunters from Resident Evil.
There we got the sniper. Where's the other asshole? Is he right here? Yep. Why he hides, I have no clue, but he does. I don't know why that one hi always hides, but he does. Don't tell me I equip a bunch of shit. Do I? I do. Why didn't I cut this out? You know, I can't stand watching that on other people's long plays and playthroughs, you know? So why do I leave it in mine? If I had throw, I could throw him over the side. But watch this, I'm gonna cheese this guy. Like that. Okay, come on. There you go. There we go. All targets down. You say that, but as soon as we get down there, we're going to run into a little surprise. Dare you to spin over the side. Yeah, hell yeah, I would. Makes you wonder what this ruin used to be. Like, what type of a, of a facility did it used to be? It makes you wonder if they were holding uh, creatures or people uh, captive here. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it. Already. Well, shit, since you can't move, Shepard could get some free nookie. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier.
Boom. We kill you, we kill you. Is that it? Nope, there's one more. We go. I think I do this just so I can do more damage against the Geth. And then I'm just like, oh, did I get everything in here? Yeah, I did. Okay. I don't know why I always have trouble with this. I can never remember how it works. You'd think with how many times I've done this, I'd be an expert and I'd know exactly how to do it. But apparently not. Past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Hold on, Commander. Her mother's working with Saren. Can we trust her? I am not my mother. I don't even. I don't know why Venezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Exactly, Shepard. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? What do you think it is, dumbass? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airboard and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Gonna be close, Skipper. If I die in here, I'll kill him. you didn't notice this place is falling apart exhilarating isn't it thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us and the doctor over whatever it is you want you are not getting it from me we don't have time to deal with this idiot charge <sighs> I like your attitude
There, get rid of the Turian. He's the biggest threat. And there we go. We took him out. Run, damn it, run! Drop your cocks and grab your socks! Let's go! Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Oh, no, it's probably because she takes some blueberries. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone, and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. Yeah, because we do like the taste of blueberries. <laughs> My knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. 
And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. The air is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. I mean, that is true. It was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. <laughs> well, that's going to be the end of this episode, so hope you all had fun. And I will see you all in the next episode.